From the top. From the tippity tippity top. Hit it, Logan. It's X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. Your weekly download of X929's X Afternoon's extracurricular activities. Enjoy. It's the 420 special. <laughs> yeah. Big, big weed podcast. Let's go. Sweat. 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 We like the weds here. Um, no, I don't like smoking weed anymore. It makes me too itchy, so. It makes me too anxious, so. There you go. That's probably where my itchiness comes from. Uh, instead, we'll stick to our drinks today, because I don't think we would get allowed to do any sort of weed things we on this might. podcast. We just didn't ask. True. Um, wow, blueberry vanilla? From their oh patio God. series from Medicine Ooh. Hat Brewing. I thought, you know what? It's kind of patio weather somewhat, so. Oh, wait. I always have bad luck with my laptop. Everyone's commencing beers. All right. Let's meet the beers. So from Medicine Hat Brewing, this is a uh, timeless. Wow. Blueberry. Sorry, I like that. Vanilla. Alcohol 4.6%. Uh, I wish they told us a little more about it. Tastes like a Danish in a can. It's very good. You know, they don't have much more on the can, but uh, 16 IBUs on there. Do you know what IBU means, Mariah? I don't know, Ty. Tell me. It means, uh, I actually don't know what it stands for, but I'm pretty sure, like, the higher it is, the more, uh, hopsty and, like, uh, IPA-ish it is. I think you might be full of shit, but sure, I will take your... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> mm. into account uh this is really good like i said tastes like a danish but we'll review it at the end of the podcast like we always do props to brewmaster mitch they put that on the side of the can wow props to mitch you really knocked it out of the park mm. um ty i talked about this uh earlier in the week on the show you were away on monday and i thought i could get some insight for one of my best friends my best friend shay has been dealing with the case of Nikki Nikki Nine Doors. The classic game. Apparently, it's also called Knock Knock Ginger. Ding uh, Dong Ding Dong ditch. ditch. Yeah, that's what we call, we we called it. Dick, ding Dong. Yeah, ditch. but when yeah. I googled it, they were like Knock Knock Ginger. Maybe that's what they call it in the states. I have no idea. Anyways, she doesn't have a doorbell cam. Like you know how a lot of people have like the ring it or whatever. So I think that's why the kids have targeted her because they're like this poor sucker doesn't have a ring camera we can get at her but or is she, she the lady who's also like out on the lawn being like you dang kids no she hasn't gone there yet she, okay. she works from inside so the luxury of working at home got ruined by these children you know how i feel about teenagers anyways don't like them in packs um she has a furbo though you know what a furbo is right yeah. so it's like a dog cam that you set up in your house but it like spits out dog treats i thought it was a furby anyways yeah <laughs> that would be a funny marketing thing. Would, anyways, so she put that in her windowsill kind of as a hidden camera and she could see these kids come up and they are leaving garbage. They're just coming up and pounding on the door. They're ringing the doorbell. The doorbell. They're like wrecking her flower garden in the front. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, I never did that as a kid. Did you guys do that? Ding All dong, the time. You? you grew up in the city, didn't you? Well, yeah, we did. That's and why we didn't have a lot of parental watching wow i think so. we tried to play it but if we couldn't because uh either the houses were too far apart so you just get caught or uh it was in like a small hamlet ty and i were talking about this because we kind of grew like even though we went to the same high school we grew up in slightly different areas but i had a lot of friends who lived out in cardiff where you grew up and it's funny i think that the issue is why we didn't do it is because all the neighbors knew where you lived mm-hmm. our friends were all our parents were all friends with each other and it was like if I was ding dong ditching somebody, my mom would have got a phone call in probably 20 minutes. Yeah. Or they would have just seen me down the road going to my house. But, uh, did they're leaving garbage. Yeah. On her pl- is she answering the door? No, but she can like her dogs are going like she's upstairs working. Okay. These kids are ringing the doorbell and she's coming down and they're gone by the time and she sees like all this garbage and shit left on her door. Does she have a doorbell door- can? A cam like that? No, no, no. no. She's got no she doesn't have mask. a doorbell cam. But because uh, I was thinking, I was like, this wouldn't work for you because if someone rang the doorbell, you just wouldn't answer it. Well, that's what I mean. And she's um, got dogs, and I'm like, sick the dogs. So next time she thinks she's just gonna go out there, and she's gonna she's gonna hold the dogs on a leash, make them look real scary, like they're gonna get at these kids. I think also, 
you know, she's got to be careful because they could do the Billy Madison where they I put know. the flaming dog shit. That's on what the I door said. It's step. next step. Yeah, that's the illogical next step. Little do they know, she's sitting on a mountain of dog shit in her backyard. She could just retaliate at that. You, you can't know? throw fly, uh, burning dog shit at kids. Um, but kids can do it to adults. Well, they're not throwing it at them. They're leaving it there. Well, I think it's still you still get in trouble for it. But no, we didn't do anything like that. I do know when I was a kid. And, this one I, was when I was like maybe seven or like five, probably. Five? What I do didn't, you mean? I didn't realize what we were doing was bad. Like, I didn't understand what we were doing. I just know that there was a mailbox and we would put snow in it. But we didn't know. Oh, we had no. no clue. Like, we were dumb kids. Like, we didn't know. Like, we were definitely so young, we would not have known. That's pretty bad. Yeah. I thought at first so you were going to say you're, some mail. you were vandalizing mailboxes. No, we didn't vandalize, but we definitely vandalized some mail. Okay, so you grew up in an area where people had individual mailboxes because where no, I... No, 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 no. It was like a big group box. Oh. So we were wrecking oh a lot God, of mail. Oh, my God. That's so much Wait, were you yeah. in the slot? Yeah. We had oh, no my idea. God. We were like six or seven. We didn't where know what it was. Where were your parents, Fred and Heather? Where they were they? <laughs> dropping off the mail. Jesus. <laughs> They're like, why do we keep getting this wet mail? I can't believe that. Like, I don't know if we really did. But I didn't, we didn't do it like for long. I think eventually someone figured out what it was and we're like, oh, well then we won't do that. I think the most like annoying thing that we would do would like, we would build bike jumps in and around like, cause we lived in the country. There would be like a lot of like grassy areas. Like it wasn't like the city where there's meridians It'd be like big ditches or whatever. And we would build bike jumps and just wreck people's front lawns. Oh, see, that's probably worse. You actually. Didn't do any graffiti? No, actually. Oh, no, I don't know. I wasn't like, I didn't live like in the city. Like we couldn't, I wasn't there just was like. There was a lot of graffiti out in your area. I remember one time. Actually, you're right. A couple there was ODRs a skate shack. Were tri- yeah. And I won't say who did it, but I know who did it. There was a skate shack, an ODR, and written in the skate shack. It said Gene Hackman. As in the actor. I'm not saying it was me. I'm not saying who it was, but I know it happened. Yeah. Someone wrote Gene Hackman in the skate shack. Big vandalism. I thought it was funny. It was you. Uh, it wasn't me. I'm telling you. I just That's spit. your type of humor. You're like, oh, uh, this is maybe so it was someone I know. Maybe it was someone I know. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. I can't. Yeah, I don't know. It's I better can't tag say. than half the shit we see here. That's true. You know, bring back the Gene Hackman tags. <laughs> Start writing that in the city. Okay. Anyways, for Shay, yeah, tell her to get a doorbell cam. I think she should. And I think instead, maybe if she just knows... She, sorry, I actually forgot the best part of the story. What she's actually going to do, because she's part of like a community group on Facebook. And so she's going to post these kids' faces with the video to the community Facebook group and be like, fuck y'all. I know your parents are on here because they're screwed. <laughs> the neighborhood watch will yeah. rise up. That's right. Take them down. Could you imagine them. though if that was your kid and you saw your kids, like a photo of them, like you'd be like, that would be the end of me if my mom saw that end of it I'd be furious I saw a post about my brother but he wasn't named but I knew it was him see that's very your generation like we never had my parents didn't have that like even if I skip school or something phone home to the answering machine I'd get home and delete it before my parents could hear yeah me too all the time yeah like there was never no like email my brother would ask me to delete a form sometimes yeah Yeah. that's right delete a form shred it shred it get home and answer the answering machine for me what did you uh, oh I thought you said form you said for me sorry I thought your brother because he's older than us they were sending him home with like notes you just get an email live on the podcast oh somebody did i did did we get that audio what was the email uh a jersey purchase city tv release top performances from tonight's episode of canada's got talent i don't know that's great we're not going to talk about that because that show is absolute uh garbage so no this is super exciting email um, hey, I like that you subscribe to your local channel it's, watch list. It's because I'm on the X Mornings email oh. list. That's and they why. subscribe they, to they City get, TV? I guess so. Good I mean, prep. Beckler's a big City TV. TV guy. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. And then nothing like uh, media companies supporting other media companies. <laughs> uh, the last thing, though, to go back to what you were saying, <laughs> Shay, just install one of those clown doorbell cameras where you press the buzzer what and then it squirts water at your face oh maybe we should do that for her yeah, just get do her that all right that's the only thing that will work okay 
Done. Done deal. Um, we wanted to talk about playoffs. Correct. The hockey playoffs, they're on the game. There's hockey going on. Okay. I saw this. Grab your beers and call your friends and watch the game. That's the song, right, Sam? Yeah, it's pretty close. That's called the hockey How do you song. feel? You're a Flames fan. We're not outing ourselves by saying we're not Flames fans. We're not from, we're from Edmonton. Oh, I've got three teams. Okay, sure. I've got the Oilers, the Jets, and then the Flames. Wow. Flames are number three on that list. Yeah, Probably. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Um, you know? But Sam, like, how do you feel like that? That there was still such a burn for the Flames for not getting that wild card spot. But I mean, yeah, this this past week hasn't been great because both my teams missed the playoffs and then proceeded to have their president and GM leave or be fired. Yeah. So, um, it's been a really weird week, um, but it's kind of nice to watch and not have like a horse in the race. Because so, you can just, like, take it all in. That's right. That's right. There's less pressure. But it's interesting you touched on the um, the GM being fired from the Flames because that was big news. We were we were hoping, I think, for some change structurally in the management side. And we, um, did a, we did a bit on it. Yeah, we did a bit on it because we thought we need to get a new GM. And we thought we know somebody that would probably be appropriate for the job. Might be a big step up, but a natural transition. All right. So here's from the show once it downloads. The Flames general manager, Brad Trelevin, he is out. He's on the outs. He's gone, actually. Yes, um, he's gone. He's not gone, gone. He's just not working there that's right. anymore. That's right. Sorry. Okay? We didn't, <laughs> no one dark. put a hit on him or I something. Got dark. Uh, yeah, I think that a lot of um, Flames fans obviously looking for like a change in the organization, mm-hmm. and it was done. So the GM spot is up for grabs, and me and you, Mariah, we mm-hmm. know exactly who to get. Yeah. He works here at X. I know. I think it would be a very smooth transition, natural pick. So here's our pitch for you to hire Sam Phelps, our weekend host. <laughs> Just who is the right person to take over as Calgary Flames GM? How about someone who owns more Flames jerseys than they own clean pairs of underwear? How about weekend host of X92.9? Sam Phelps. His stats speak for themselves. Playtime for NHL 23. 18 hours, 54 minutes. <laughs> Playtime for NHL 21. 10 hours, 13 minutes. Playtime for NHL 20. 102 hours, 54 minutes. Playtime for NHL 19. An astonishing 195 hours and 27 minutes. Time spent walking in the park holding his girlfriend's hand. 14 minutes, 11 seconds. Sam Phelps will be at most of the games next year anyway. His diet consists solely of pocket dogs. He might as well be the fucking general manager. The Calgary Flames aren't helpless. They're just Phelpsless. Sam Phelpsless. Sam Phelps for Flames general manager. X Afternoons with Mariah and Ty on X92.9. Those stats about his playtime on those video games, that's true. They're real. Yeah. I had to voice that and I had to reread the one that said 120 hours or whatever the 192, hell it was. I think. <laughs> okay, there you go. Sorry, 192. Because I was like, that is alarming. You know, there might have been some dashboard time in there, but... Mm. It's not great. Mm. It's not great. It's not as bad as my war zone stats. But. Okay. Yeah, well. well, you know, when we need a military tactician, we're going to come to you. <laughs> yeah. Just like all the great leaders do when it comes to it. They say, who's got the highest uh, playtime on war zone? Let's go. That's right. <laughs> uh, so, Sam, do you want to take over? Do you want to take that job? No, it's a shit show in there. No. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you can't Ted Lasso it, eh? Yeah. I know that. Uh, wow. It's oh my competitive God. with the salary here at X. Yeah, that's right, dude. He's like, I can't. I don't want to leave this for that. Come on. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, um, they yeah. fired the wrong dude, though. Like, you, you wanted Sutter gone? I wanted Sutter gone. Yeah, like, yeah. Apparently, like everything is like he doesn't take direction from anybody. Well, he's yeah. an older gentleman. Like, how yeah. long has he been with the Flames? He was coach when I was a kid. Okay. Like, when he was, like, wow. when I was, like, six. Really? Yeah. He's been coaching consecutively like that? No, Not no. consecutively. So they he keep firing he, him and then bringing yeah, him back. So he got hired, took the Flames to the final, and then coached for, like, two or three more seasons. But and he's then from was Alberta, though, right? Like, he's, yeah. yeah okay. And he was GM. And then when his brother um, coached the team and then they kept missing the playoffs, they both left. And then he came back, and it's been a roller coaster ever since. I, I, yeah, I see the kind of tumultuous relationship there with like the fan base and obviously like in house. But yeah, like I think that well, Christ, like if we're talking about 
coach changeover, the Oilers have had the highest turnover in the past couple years. But, I mean, it, that's just crazy that they had him and brought him back. I'm so – I didn't even know that. I wasn't aware. But Yeah. And I, I would kill to be Edmonton right now. Oh. Because they have, like, the best player ever. And they have $14 beer, Sam. You can't put a price on that. It's delicious. You know the moment that we build the new rink, though, we're getting fucked with that, that stuff, too. Yeah. yeah. I thought it is already expensive at the Saddle Dome. Yeah, Not as bad as Edmonton. It's like 11 We get a $2, $3 discount? It's pretty good. And yeah. you get happy hours, so you get them for, like, 6 bucks. Yeah. What? Yeah. And at Roger's Place, they do have an unhappy hour <laughs> where you have to pay $18. Where... Uh, unhappy yeah. hour is just OT, and then you swing your beer on the oh ice. Oh, my there's God. A, there's, a, there's a special going on in Edmonton. It's called... Uh, two beers for thirty dollars. You can't pass it up. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. You it's know a, when I was in Winnipeg, though, it was about the same price. So. No, but you know what? It's funny. <laughs> I saw somebody bitching about the prices at Coachella. Okay, because yeah. Coachella is really expensive. This is obviously in American beers, dollars. Two burritos and two iced coffees was sixty four dollars American. What? what? Yeah. Are we talking bean burritos, like microwaved bean burritos? Pretty much. Anyway, wait, they're probably not that. They're probably a food truck. Probably. But for some reason in my head, I was like, yeah, they're selling some microwave bean burritos but like, at Coachella. So they were Let's saying go. that the average drink of vodka Red Bull, which is what a lot of people are drinking there apparently, costs seventeen fifty. US. Yeah. So if you're Canadian going down, that's like twenty five bucks. That's what I mean. But I was like, that is what you would pay at Roger's Place for a vodka Red Bull. That, that's pretty on par. In Canadian dollars, though. Still. But, I mean, like, if you're bringing that American cash, you're just not thinking about it. It's 17 50 to everybody in the The, the weird thing is, like, I don't believe that they need to charge those prices. I think they're doing it there because they can. Well, the they, they, in town. they need to charge them because they need to pay for the building. Like, obviously, they need to – they have prices. When I – Okay, I'm actually not going to talk. I used to work. I used to work for a part of OEG. Really fabulous experience. But during the pandemic, when they had staff that they needed there for the games, but they couldn't really get people into the games because the, they just couldn't, they were spending so much money on staffing the place versus what they were making per game. That's why they have all those high prices. So it's like building costs, staffing costs, like yeah. all this extra stuff that I think that people just don't think about. I was there pre-pandemic though, and it was expensive pre-pandemic. Of course. It got crazy afterwards, but like like the flames even in the last like couple of years, it, like prices are probably up like 20, 25, 30%. Well, it's, in, it's like inflation Easy. too, but it's like, yeah, they're, yeah. they're definitely upcharging versus cost immensely. Well, but. I know what the cost is on a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, pocket it's a, it's, Are you buying some wholesale? It, it, That's right. Dog? It's expensive. Oh, yeah. I know the wholesale price. Sam's been going to uh, Flames Games asking to buy pocket dogs in bulk. They say no. They're $8 You know what's so now. funny, though? When I moved here, everyone's like, you got to try the pocket dog at the Flames game. When I lived in Winnipeg, everyone's like, you got to try that Jets dog. Oh. I don't know what they have at Rogers. Like, I've been to I don't Oilers think they games. have, like, a signature thing. Yeah, they need a, their own hot dog. I don't know what it would be. A McDog? A Connor McDog? McDog? <laughs> They should do that. Sued, McDonald's sued by McDonald's, you. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should do that. Maybe. Anyways, who, who do you guys think is winning the playoffs? Edmonton. The whole they, thing? They have the highest percentage to win. Oh. I mean, they... In front of Boston, Colorado's not going to win. They're fourth on the list for... McDaddy Dick the Flames last year, and I think he's going to do that to everyone else this year, unfortunately. I think that they... I he's think unreal. That, That'd be pretty electric. Yeah. I don't know. Or I could see Boston, or isn't Dallas doing fairly well? Did they win yesterday? They, they won. lost. They lost. They lost. Look, they lost in overtime, too, and everybody thought um, Dallas was going to be... My shit. harder head says uh, either Edmonton or Boston, but to not pick the same as Mariah, I'll just pick the Jets. That, that's a bold take. That's an extremely bold take, I loved, actually. I loved cheering for the Jets. Because they just skirted fun. in, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. They, they went on fun. the skids for like a good month and a half and just got in. How'd your flames do? We're not going to talk about that. Okay. We Actually, we just did. <laughs> yeah, we did. We just did. All Anyways, right. what do you guys think for NBA, too? Who used your picks? <laughs> all right. Le LeBron. Wow, okay, that's a bad pick, but all right, sure. I don't know who's in the... Because, the yeah. Sacramento Kings got in for the first time since, like, 2006 they've made the playoffs. Are they, like, the three or the and two seed? They're whooping the Golden State Warriors' ass, and I'm here for it. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, I know. Who else is in the playoffs for the NBA? I don't know. The Miami Heat are in there right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Cavaliers 
The New York Knicks, a good uh, a weatherman we know, loves the Knicks for some reason. I don't know why. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Boston's in again. Goddamn Boston Celtics. I swear. <laughs> Can't stand them. The Raptors lost in the play-in. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. So I yeah, didn't they're even not, watch because I don't in need the playoffs, that stress right? in my life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, I read about it, and now my hair is whiter. <laughs> So that's all that matters. You're diving a little deeper into the world of Mariah and Ty with the X After Hours podcast. Um, it's it's time for the Mariah. Yep. Kip, ready? Okay, we really didn't even get it right once. We're Kip. on like episode twelve, and we can't do it. It's time for Mariah, Mariah and Ty's review, review of, of the, the week. week. Yeah. It's time for Mariah and Ty's review of the week. Okay. Yeah, uh, usually mine's NSFW, but I thought, you know what? What did you do to these? <laughs> what did you do to these? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I guess I could have done something NSFW. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. I thought I'd keep it wholesome to celebrate young Samilton's 25th birthday. Did you struggle between calling him Samuel, Samilton, Hamuel? And, Ham, and Hamilton. And Sam. And, and Hamilton. Hamilton. Okay, anyways. Uh, so it's Sam's, it was Sam's 25th birthday earlier this week. It's and, a tough age. Uh, yeah. I uh, I thought, you know what? You don't need any more NSFW in your life. You are graduating to the age of 25. It's time to mature up. Ooh. And I got us to try these beautiful donuts from Mavericks Donut mm, Company. I love that. Um, there's one in here that they didn't want to smush the ones with icing. This is a classic apple fritter in here. Is, that, um, is there a special one for Sam? Also, Sam, happy birthday. Uh, one you. thing I'll tell you now, anytime someone tells you their birthday age, you can start saying, that's a tough age. Look at this. <laughs> anytime they're younger is than you. Is this camera going to see the gloriousness of these? That's a tough age. Look at these. Yeah, Look like, at wow. these. It's like, I'm 23. That's a Do tough age. Do you see? Age. Do you see? Okay, so we have a traditional vanilla dip. Then we have a maple pecan. And then we have, or pecan, however the fuck you say it. Then we have a maple pecan. bacon donut, mm. s'mores, and a powdered sugar donut tradition. Whoa. Okay, Sam, you're the beer day boy. Which one do you want? Ooh. What is Sam going to pick? Or what is this thing? Or is That's that an one? apple fritter in there, too. Is that yours? Take this. No, they just didn't want to box it in because it's bigger okay. than the other ones. The moment of truth. What will Sam pick? Oh, it's the powdered one all day. Oh my god, a simple man. Yeah, nice. I, I love me some powdered donut. Um, That's why they wrote simple man. It was about getting a powdered donut. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for this um, maple pecan one because that looks really right. good. Ty, Logan, come get one. What do you want? Yeah, Logan. Um, pass it over here. Let's see what's left. There's the apple fritter too. Oh. That's Logan wants the sprinkles. Do you like sprinkles, yeah, I Logan? Sprinkles. Oh, the sprinkles would have gone to the birthday boy, but obviously oh, not. Oh, my goodness. I like this thing with marshmallows. Wow. Oh, it's so sugar. That's high. amazing, Mariah. Holy. Okay, wow. here, Sam. You get to take the other two home. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, here's the fritter. I'm only going to briefly touch it with my fingers. <laughs> briefly? <laughs> wow, look at that Holy one. Shit. I think you should take a bite before you give it to Sam to take home. Why? Because they're pretty... Good. Really? And you're gonna be upset. I mean, you live right I beside them. I bought them for his birthday. Yeah, you're gonna go there on your way, like to work tomorrow for <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, These no. are amazing. Are they good? Yeah, they're yeah. very good. Really? This tastes like the mini donuts at the Stampede. Oh my god. But a Maverick big one. Donuts, you've done very good. Okay, good. And this is a tough donut crew. I like this. It's like a fat. We one. are a tough donut crew, and um, these are very good. Anyone listening or watching? I think they're a company that has that kind of good. popped up across Canada, but they only have a couple locations. I think they had a couple in like one in Ontario. They have one in Saskatchewan now, and then this is. I think they only have two in Alberta. So. Yeah, you're gonna be so upset that you gave those away after the podcast is done. Oh she's gonna be like, god. she's gonna be like, shit. Wow. Yeah, are you upset? You're taking one of them home, aren't you? No, I'm not. They're free birthday. Yeah, yeah. All right. Wait till the cameras are off. I don't need you. <laughs> wow. The, okay, I love airy donuts. I kind of hate cake donuts, and these are so Those are good. amazing. My review of the week is from the Gummy Boutique here in Calgary, in uh, Kensington. It's a Dr. Pepper and cream soda, zero sugar. Mm. Um. It's imported from the States. I hope this doesn't explode on me, but I have a gut feeling this is going to be amazing. I love how you didn't bring one for Sam, even though it's his These birthday. are like $5 a can. Yeah. Those splurge? specialty stores are crazy. I bought the crazy. beers today, everybody. Should have seen the price on these donuts. Were I they, just, was it more than $18? Yes, it was. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. Okay, because the beers were $18.75. <laughs> uh, 
That's okay. The beers are good. Mm. I'm just joshing you. Wow, these fucking donuts. So how is that? It's very good. You All know, right, I pass like... the can around. No, just yeah, kidding. don't do that. I just had a close COVID contact. Um, <laughs> <laughs> those are good, though. I like like uh, places like the Gummy Boutique where you can go and uh, get like that out of um, continent candy is what I would call mm. it. Do you know what's a good yeah. one from like a store like that? Huh. Is um, cherry vanilla Coke Zero. Yeah, they have that. that here, though? They yeah. definitely have that there, Sam. I saw it and it looked good. I thought they, they are... sold that in Canada, though. But I did they you have see Coke Zero? Did you see Peepsy yeah, there? Coke Zero. Um, I didn't look for it. I was looking for the blue Captain Crunch syrup. Syrup, yeah. Ooh. What but, they do have though is like cool cake mix flavors and like cool, um, like candies and weird chocolate bars from the states and stuff, right? Yeah, they have a bunch of everything. They even have like freeze dried candy, which is very very Fuck. cool. What do you mean freeze dried candy? Like, they freeze-dry candy, and it was very good. I will give this a nice uh, four out of five. Doctors. Why uh, the four? Out of five. Uh, because uh, I just don't really like cream soda that much. Mm. Does this can scream cream soda to you? Can I see it? It's like brown. It looks like it should be Dr. Pepper root beer. That looks like a beer. root beer. Yeah. So I'm a little upset about that because my girlfriend got, like, a strawberry one, and it was all pink and... Strawberry like this is like no this is Dr. But you Pepper. like the flavor of cream soda though. Yeah, but I'm knocking it a point for the can. Okay. Um I'm giving these donuts a ten out of ten yeah, Mavericks they're very good. because they're so fucking good. Mm-hmm. Like, I had my doubts and then I'm like, no, these are unreal. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten and I'm gonna give you a ten out of ten because thank you for getting me a gift for oh my, my birthday. God, did no you problem. uh did you uh bring a review of the week, Sam? No review this week actually. He's the birthday boy. Uh, are you gonna review being bald? <laughs> Actually, 10 out of 10 experience. Nice. I can roll out of bed, not shower, and I actually look like I'm not disheveled, so it's kind of nice. Wow. Um, you look more like Chad Michael Murray now because the stubble's in on the... on You wore the gray hoodie, too. I wore the gray hoodie, specifically. Wow. Just so I could look exactly like the picture you sent me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, everyone, rate and review five stars, and uh, we didn't blaze it. <laughs> we did not 420 blaze no, it. No, we didn't. Uh, but if you are doing that today, hopefully you listened or watched us. And get some donuts because that yeah, would be a that great. Yeah, that sucks, man. If you watched this and you were stoned and you don't have donuts, oh my God, I apologize. Do you apologize? That would suck. No, I think you should have pre-planned. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, I'm on your side. Uh, <laughs> bye. bye. We gotta rate the beers. Oh shit. We gotta rate the beers. <laughs> oh my. Back it up, everybody. <laughs> And now for the beer review. Um. <laughs> it's time to review the beers. From Medicine Hat Brewing Co., the Blueberry Vanilla from the Patio Series, Brewmaster Mitch, you absolutely fucking knocked it out of the park. Uh, I give you a f- five blueberries out of five. Incredible. Blueberry and vanilla, probably the best combination of blueberry and vanilla, like you could do, like vanilla and strawberry, not as good. Blueberry and something else, not good, as good. But these guys, they were made to be together. It's really good. I also give it a five out of five. It's quite delicious. I was pleasantly surprised. Wow, you're done. Uh, I finished like ten minutes into the podcast. Wow. It's unbelievably good. Um, and the the blueberry kind of tasted like you know, like the yogurt, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. the blueberry yogurt that you get. It's kind of similar to that. It was great. Um, so I'm also going to give it a five out of five this mm. week. It was a solid one. And I believe IBU stands for International Bitterness Unit. Sorry. Yeah, crumple the wrapper into the mic. <laughs> Everybody, uh, enjoy your 420. Stay safe. Bye. You've been listening to X After Hours Podcast with Mariah and Ty. You want more? Then tune into X Afternoons with these two live on Calgary's Alternative X92.9, Monday through Friday, 2 to 7 p.m. Mountain Time at x929.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and have the new episode of X After Hours downloaded weekly to whatever device you use. I was going to clean my room. Until I got high. We could eat pie. Yum. Yum, yum in my tum tum.